Hey everyone, welcome back to Live Aligned. My name is Liv and today we have a Pilates class using the mini ball and a TheraBand. Now the mini ball you will need, but if you don't have a band at home, that is fine. You can do the class without it. Let's start with a few stretches with our cat and cow and then we'll get into the workout. So if you do have the band, let's get it ready. Bringing the band flat to the center of your mat. And then you can just place your hands down on the band, shoulder width apart, knees hip distance apart. Inhale to arch the back and look up to the ceiling. Exhale to round through the spine, chin to chest, tailbone tucks. Inhale, arch, open up. Exhale, round. That's it. And again, inhale. And exhale, lift through your core. Let's do one more. Arching, big stretch, and then rounding. Finding a nice long spine in tabletop. Reach your right arm forward, up in line with your shoulder, and place it down. Let's go left, reach, and down. Keep alternating, shoulders down away from the ears. Really lifting up through your core, staying strong through your foundations. Let's do one more to each side. Lovely. Now hands down, same thing but with the legs. So lift one leg, extend it long behind you and lift through your core. Then pull that knee in, place it down to the mat and switch sides. So what we're looking for here is not to rock too much side to side. Really lifting through your core, stretching through the leg, through the hamstring, squeezing the glute. Exhale, extend, inhale down. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, you will combine those two movements together. So say you extend your left leg, reach your right arm forward. So the opposite arm at the same time and then come back down and keep switching sides. Spend a moment as you lengthen the arm and the leg just to hold and really connect in with your core. Good, let's do one more to each side. Just at your own pace. Perfect, and then come on down. Now our first exercise using the band, if you have one, your right hand is flat on that band, your left hand grips around the other end. The closer you hold to the center, the harder it will be, the further out, the less intense. If you don't have the band, just use your arm weight. Square off shoulders and hips to the mat and raise your left arm out to the side and lower it down. That's it. Nice and strong through your core. Try not to lock your right elbow out, so soft bend. And it does not matter if your arm doesn't lift up in line with your shoulder. We want a nice squeeze through that left shoulder blade. Beautiful. Now, can you start to extend your opposite leg? So as you raise your left arm, Lift and extend your right leg. Pause and pull it in. We have five more like this. Lift, extend and in. Beautiful. This is three. This is four. So good. And this is five. Now lower your right leg to the mat, just the toes, and tuck those toes under. We'll come into our tricep kickback, sweeping your left arm back towards your hip. Bend and extend that elbow. Bend and extend, keeping the tricep lifted up to the sky. You can create more slack or less slack on your band by holding it closer to the midline. 
And if you want to add your leg lift, point the toes of the back leg and lift the leg as you extend the arm. Five more. Four. Good. Three. Two. And one. Amazing. Bring it down. Quick stretch. And then just place your band back down onto the mat for the other side. So we will do the other side straight away. Let's place that left hand down underneath our shoulder and wrap our right hand around the end of the band. Squaring off the hips and the shoulders to the mat, raise your right arm out to the side and lower it down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. You might notice that one arm is a little stronger than the other or vice versa and that's completely normal. So this is why it's important to do this single-sided work to notice those imbalances and then be able to work on them moving forward. Now let's start to extend the opposite leg so the left leg this time reaches out as the arm raises up. Come on in. So this is really a full body movement. That's it. We just have four more here. It's even getting my heart rate up today. It's quite challenging. This is three. Reach long. Two. And one. Beautiful. Just lower the back leg, tuck the toes. Come into your kickback. So you want to sweep your right arm back towards your hip and bend and straighten. So I'll just turn around so you can see my arm. Kicks back and in. That's it. Lifting the back of the arm up. Perfect. Now, if you'd like to add your leg lift, lift the leg with the arm for five, four, lift through the core, three, two, well done. This is it. Last one. Whew, come on down. Feel that shoulder burn. Give your shoulders a little shrug. Amazing. So we're done with the band for now. So you can place it off to the side. Let's grab our ball and do our donkey kick series. So we want to wedge the ball behind the left knee. Coming down onto your elbows and forearms. Flex your left foot. Keep your left knee bent. Press the heel to the sky and draw down with control. Squeeze to push and in. Really lift through your core so your back doesn't arch. If you're more comfortable on your hands, you can of course stay up here, pressing the chest away from the mat. And we're moving nice and slowly with intention. Let's do five, four, three, two, good, lift on one. Now we're going to squeeze that ball as if we want to pop it for 10, nine, eight, seven, lift the thigh for five, four, three, two, one and bring it down. Beautiful job. Grab your ball from behind you with your left hand. Place that ball under your left hand. Lower down to your right forearm if you're not already there. Extend your left leg long. You're slightly open to the left as well. And you're going to lift the leg and lower the leg. Creating instability with the ball under the left hand. You'll feel that through your tricep and your shoulder. You draw your waist in and you'll slowly lift through that outer thigh and glute. Really push down into that ball. That's it. For five, four, three, two, Hold on one, sweep that leg 
forward and back. That's it, five more, five. Four, draw in through the waist, press down through that ball. Three, two, so good. And one, nice job. Bring it in, quick stretch, maybe a child's post stretch. Big breath in and out. Coming all the way up and we're just doing that on the other side straight away. So I'll just turn around, wedging that ball behind the right knee this time and either on elbows and forearms or on your hands totally up to you keep the right foot flexed press that heel to the sky and come on in and down good press up and down really squeeze the glute imagine you've got a 50 kilo weight on your ankle and it's really hard to press it up to the sky, but you get it there. Engage through your core. Five more here, pressing up. Each time, lots of focus on that movement, on the muscle that we're working, glute and hamstring. There's three more to go. Three, two, so good, press up for one, hold, squeeze that ball as if you want to pop it for 10, nine, eight, lift the thigh a bit higher, for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down, amazing. Grab your ball with your right hand, place it underneath your right hand, and just lower the left elbow and forearm if it's not already. Extend your right leg long to the back corner of your mat. Draw the waist in, start to lift and lower your right leg with lots of control and just a light tap on the way down. Really push down into the ball and draw your shoulder down away from your ear. Amazing. Three more here. Nice and controlled. Two. Good, we lift on one. We sweep our leg forward and back as best as we can without swaying off to the opposite direction. So good. Here for another five, four, three. Lift that leg a little higher if you can. Two and one. All done. Bring it down. Take any stretch you need. I'm going for another child's pose stretch. Using that ball under my hands for a deeper chest stretch as well. Deep breath in and exhale. One more and release. Beautiful, up we come. Okay, let's move on to a fun little core sequence. So if you have your band, you'll use it, you'll place it about halfway down your mat, nice and flat, even on each end, and then you'll place your ball in between or right in the middle. Let's roll back into the ball. So it just sits underneath our shoulder blades. Or if you're wearing a sports bra, just about where that clasp would be. Beautiful. So from here, we want to grab each end of the band if we have it. Reach our hands up towards the ceiling on a diagonal from the line of the chest. Lift your legs up into tabletop and come into your toe taps. Right toes tap down and return, left toes tap and return. So we're pulling those arms forward, dropping the ribs to the hips, tucking the chin, just looking straight through the legs. If you're looking up to the ceiling, I think you'll find it will really bring too much tension through the neck and the shoulders. They so stay nice and open through the neck. So good. You don't have to use the band, you can just have your arms reaching out in front. Here for another five four, three, two, legs back to tabletop on one, arms open out to the side and close down towards the hips, open and close, good, just hold that curl, really drop ribs to hips, one more like this before we add on, 
Open the arms, stretch your left leg out long and pull it in. Alternate right leg and in. Feel that shake through your core. Woo. In. Keep pulling nice and tight on that bend, otherwise there's no real point of having it. So pulling out and in. So good. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold there. Start to bicycle your legs. Yes, this is hard, but you can do it. Let go of your band if you have it. Keep reaching your fingers forward. Start to reach the hands up towards the ceiling and press them back down towards the floor. So this is really quite a challenge for your coordination. Bicycle the legs, reach up. Bicycle the legs, press down. Three more like that, keep going. Reach up and up, down, down. Two more, up and up, you've got it. Down, down, this is it. Reach up and down. Oh my gosh, feet down. Whew. Stretch back over that ball for a moment. Should feel beautiful. Big deep breath in and relax. Good job. Come up off of the ball. We have our final sequence, just some bridges and some stretches. So we're going to lie down. Pop the ball between the knees, feet flat, about hip distance apart. Band between the hands and the tighter the grip to the midline, the heavier the band will feel. So the arms are just above the chest at the moment and let's roll our hips up, tucking the tailbone, rolling up onto your shoulders, pressing the feet down into the floor. Take a pause at the top and then roll yourself back down. Beautiful. So just take these first few rounds to make any adjustments you need to. You might need to shift your feet around or the placement of your ball or band. And then once you feel all set, you're going to start to add on a ball squeeze. So roll yourself up, squeeze as hard as you can into the ball, hold, reach your arms back behind your head, keep squeezing the ball, reach your arms back towards the ceiling, finally release that ball and then lower down. So rolling up, big squeeze into the ball, Open your arms back behind you. Keep squeezing the ball, reach the arms to the sky and lower. Now notice that if you're just holding the band and you've got slack, it won't feel like much is going on. But if you pull out on that band, you'll start to feel your shoulders really kick in. So you're trying to open the band just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Squeeze the ball, reach. And down, so good. Just a few more like this. Big squeeze. Press those big toes down. Nice, keep pulling out on the band as well. Good job, here for another five, four, three, two. Of course, we're holding on one. Hips high, hold there, just the arms reaching back. Can you squeeze that ball as hard as you can, but really focus on those arms pulling out on the band for three, two, one. Band over chest, abduct, so pull out into that band for 10. Keep the hips high, keep squeezing the ball for six, five, four. Tuck your tailbone, three, two, one. One, and hold there, pulse the hips up and down to finish, still squeezing the ball as hard as you can. For eight, this is it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You are done, roll down, rock your knees side to side. So good. Whew. Place that ball off to the side. We'll just stretch our hamstrings, extending your right leg to the ceiling and hooking your foot through the band, pulling down, flexing the toes back, closing down the eyes, taking a nice deep breath in and exhale. Two more big inhale breaths. 
and release. Maybe draw that leg a little closer towards your chest for your last breath in. And let go. Switching legs. Left foot into the band, right foot down. Flexing the toes back. Relaxing the shoulders, arms are heavy, pulling down on the band. Nice big inhale and release. Two more. Every time you exhale, see if you can draw the leg a little closer towards you. And last breath in here. And let go. So good. Pop the band off to the side. Bring your feet out wide and just rock your knees side to side. Windscreen wiper motion. Amazing. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock along the length of your spine a few times just to bring yourself up to seated. Beautiful. So that is all we have today. I truly hope you enjoyed your ball and band Pilates class. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts every Monday. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.